group of San Fernando Valley dog owners are barking mad after their local dog park won a $20,000 contest back in December. Yeah, but no improvements have been made yet, so they contacted two on your side. And CBS 2's Christine Lazard joins us now to tell us why they uh, say their wish list is being ignored. Mm. Christine? Well, Rick and Susie, a $7,000 drinking fountain, a $600 bench. Those are some of the things being proposed for the park makeover. But the dog owners we spoke with say they've been told what they actually want they can't have. Well, look at it. It's like a desert. It's not hard to see why the Whitnell Dog Park in North Hollywood needed a makeover. There's no grass, hardly anywhere to sit, and virtually no cover from the San Fernando Valley sunshine. We have no shade, so in the middle of the day, it's you can't be here. So when Beneful Dog Food selected Whitnall for its dream dog park last year, awarding $20,000 to the city to improve the park, the dog owners here were ecstatic. I thought that it would actually become a dream dog park. Uh, that was the name of the contest. But this group of dog owners contacted two on your side because they say the city has done little to move forward with the makeover. The contest ended in December. The prize money was awarded in April. To date, no improvements have been made. It seems to be a bureaucratic mess and nobody has the will to take leadership and get it done. A community meeting organized by the city was held in May. Amy Farrington was there. It was like we were just kind of talking into thin air and nobody was hearing what we had to say. They didn't care. Some of the improvements the city has suggested, a $7,500 drinking fountain, a $4,000 bulletin board. But what these dog owners say they want most is shade. But when they asked for trees to be planted, they were told the DWP won't allow it because the park sits under high tension power lines. But so far, they say the city hasn't proposed a shade alternative. And how does it feel to be out here without shade. It feels sweaty. Also on the city's list of improvements to replace both front gates to make the park ADA compliant to the tune of $8,000. The city says they are required by law to make ADA improvements whenever renovations are made to a city park. This money was supposed to be to beautify the dog park, but if the ADA stuff has to get done first, is that on us? That doesn't make too much sense. Two on your side contacted Councilman Paul Krikorian, who got the city to match the $20,000 in prize money back in December. He promised us that shade is a priority, and he is working with Recreation and Parks to come up with a solution that will pass DWP regulations. He also assured two on your side that while $40,000 is the budget, he is committing to spending whatever it takes to make Whitnall a dream dog park. Mm. So he says that they should have some plans in place by the fall, and then they'll get moving. Well, we'll right. see what happens.